My friend, you have even now you have time. Refrain, refrain, refrain from sin. Come to Allah and His Rasul. Adopt the teachings. You still have time. This is what Allah gives us the reminders. Abu Abdullah Muhammad ibn Ahmad al Qusri relates that in Istanbul there was a governor. He died. They dug, up, they dug a grave for him. When they were on the verge of lowering this body inside the grave, do you know what they saw inside the grave? They saw a black snake waiting for him inside the grave. They were terrified. Naturally, they were terrified. They didn't want to bury this guy inside this grave. So they dug another grave. Now they've spent hours digging the second grave. They're on the verge of lowering the body inside the grave. And you know what? The same snake they saw in the first is waiting in the second. They dig a third grave. A third grave. And they find when they're on the verge of lowering this grave, all of a sudden, out of the blue, they find the same black snake inside the grave. I ask you, my young friends, you know, on that particular occasion, that narration, what do you think it suggests? How many graves do you think they dug on that day? Four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty graves. <coughs> the narration says that on that day, they dug about thirty graves. Every time the grave was dug and they were on the verge of lowering this body inside the grave, they would find the same blood snake waiting. <laughs> Where are you going to hide? It doesn't come any clearer than this. Where are you going to hide? Where? Allah! You know, even when you've gone six foot under, you can't get away. You've left the dunya, and you've gone six foot under, and you think you've got away with it. This is where it will begin. You know, fed up after digging so many graves, they consulted the ulama. What should we do with this person? May Allah protect us. They said, you know what? Just bury him inside the grave. Leave the rest to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they buried him. In the tarikh of Makrezi in the year 600, a man buried his wife. And by mistake, his handkerchief which had money inside it, fell inside the grave. Now he's gone home, realizing that the handkerchief is inside the grave. He takes one of the local scholars to dig up the grave. Now the scholar standing at the corner of the grave and this guy is dig, uh, he's dug up the grave. What, does he, what did he see on that day? He saw his wife is sitting inside the grave and her hair are tied to her feet. So what he does is interfere in the akhirah. And he begins to, tries to untie the hair. Trying, trying, he's unable to do so. How is he going to be able to make a difference to the Akhirah. But he doesn't refrain. He continues to do so. And what does the scholar witness? Down he goes, and down his wife goes, and there is not a sign of them. And he remains unconscious for one day and one night. When he gains conscience and relates it to the Khalif, the Amir, he in turn wrote to the great scholar of Islam who alive was at the time, the great master of hadith, Muhaddis, Taqiyuddin ibn Dakhiq al Eid, get this as what, what's been witnessed in our land. So the great master of hadith wrote back that this is a reminder. Simple. This is a reminder for people like you and me.